in the Pokemon world, everything's not helping anyone. And there's a lesson in the very nature of the game. And Pokemon. Okay. What are we talking about? Video game protagonists that should be tried as war criminals. Pokemon. How about? Oh, that's way better. Yeah. Now, Daniel, you were saying some pretty incendiary things about Sonic the Hedgehog. Why don't you go first? Okay, so you know Sonic? The Hedgehog? Shut up. In the first Sonic game, what's his goal? Stop Dr. Robotnik. From? Collecting the Chaos Emeralds. By? Collecting the Chaos Emeralds. With? Super speed and jumping. At? Why? Daniel, what are we doing? Sorry, I had a good one word preposition streak going and I, I wanted to, but uh, my point is that in the beginning of the game, it's never clearly established what exactly the Chaos Emeralds do. But it is established that Robotnik thinks that they'll help him rule the world. The all-powerful Chaos Emeralds! Yeah, we all know that. And we also all know that if you collect all the Chaos Emeralds and beat the game, you get a special secret bonus ending. I wouldn't say we all know that. Really? Okay. If you beat the game when you have all the emeralds, at the end, the emeralds shoot up into the sky, explode, and then a bunch of plants grow throughout Green Hill Zone. But, if you look at Sonic's face when that happens, he is shocked. He had no idea those plants were gonna grow. He didn't know he was helping the environment. All Sonic wanted to do was stop Robotnik. Okay, but we're talking about animal cruelty here. Dr. Robotnik was the one who put all of them in those evil robot suits, and then Sonic was the one who set all those animals free. Okay, well, in Sonic 2, what happens in the level of Sky Just Chaser? tell us what happens! In the Sky Chase Zone, apart from awesome music, Sonic and Tails are on an airplane fighting robots. But, what's inside those robots? Tell us! Not little flying creatures, little regular creatures. He's not freeing birds? I don't know if freeing is the right word for dropping an animal to its certain death. All Sonic cares about is running fast and jumping and humiliating a guy, just a guy. He's not just a guy, he's an evil inventor. Is he evil though, Katie, though? The robot suits that he builds for all the animals, it keeps them protected, and it arms them so they can ward off predators. He's done a ton for animal safety, and Sonic is knocking them out of the sky. You're right. No, I'm right. With it, uh, what? Yeah, Sonic is a bad influence on children, clearly guilty of animal cruelty. Well argued. Okay. I'd say it was almost as good as my example if the population of Green Hill Zone utilized an entirely dogfighting based economy. Exhibit A, your honor. Who are you talking to? I'll allow it. Thank you. We all know that Pokemon is essentially legalized dogfighting. Yes, Pokemon trainers are. Ah ha ha! Can we really say trainer? I mean, really, when do you ever actually see someone train their Pokemon? There's no scenes of housebreaking or uh, obedience training, socialization. It's just a constant barrage of fighting all the time, always. <laughs> I agree, there was no episode of Pokemon where Ash teaches Pikachu how to poop. Anything else? Yes. My exhibit B is literally everything else. You know you're gonna need to elaborate on that, right? I'll allow it. See, cause it's not just that a few people are fine with animal cruelty, the entire society's economy is based on it. In the game, every city you go to has Pokemon hospitals. Every shopping center sells Pokeballs, Poke Potions, Poke Rocks, whatever Pokemon are into. You either have to breed or fight or support the breeding and fighting of Pokemon. And what's gonna happen when your society is entirely based on Pokemon? Ooh, a joke about how no one has any sex because Pokemon is lame and stupid. Ooh, you're too busy catching them all to actually get any. No, that isn't it. Obviously. Anyway, what happens is that all the power goes to the guy with the strongest Pokemon. You rise to power based on the strength of your Pokemon, and you can only be dethroned by a dude with a stronger Pokemon. It's like the Old West, and Ash Ketchum is basically Al Swearingen. EB is Goldeen. I have a chart. I want to talk about Flintstones! Katie, did you have something you wanted to say? Everything that Michael said about Pokemon is true of the Flintstone universe, but worse. Okay, the entirety of Bedrock's economy revolves around forcing the dinosaurs into slavery. Oh, uh, okay. Slavery's kind of harsh. Well, yeah. No, the word, in this context. We ride horses, we have dog sleds. Well, people have dog sleds. You know, I read somewhere that we used to use live snakes as belts. No, you didn't read that. No, I didn't. It's silly. The point is that we use animals for labor all the time, it's not slavery. But we do use our animals for labor because they don't talk or think. I mean, the Bedrock dinosaurs have 
personalities and opinions, and humans have conditioned them to accept their lives of labor. Take every swordfish that doubles as a carving knife, or every woolly mammoth that's forced to be a vacuum cleaner, or every bird broom, bird clothespin, bird rake, bird pie maker. I mean, what do they all turn and say to the camera? It's a I mean, they can talk and think and dream, but humans have forced them into believing that there's no other alternative. Dino can't talk. Oh, but he could. Oh, too excited to know that information. In season one, I'm there's doing the Flintstones. Dino does talk in the first season. He's like well spoken and, and clever, more like a butler than a dog. You can say that again. And what did the Flintstones do? They get him to cut that talking and thinking shit right out. I mean, sure you can stay here just as long as you sleep outside and you repress everything about you that makes remotely human. What would we call that if it happened in America? If we call that slavery. In a kids show. Guilty. Creationism show, too. What? The Bible says that animals were put here to serve man, and the Flintstone supports that. We're not gonna talk about religion, are Yes, we? or Pokemon again. All right, which Pokemon would taste the best? Awesome! Jigglypuff. Jig yeah, I was gonna say Jigglypuff. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. Subscribe to our channel. It's cool, not banal. And if you don't, I will kill you like a death panel! <laughs> Instead of banal. <laughs> <laughs>